Jordan, who is your garbage person of this week? My garbage person of the week, you know him, you hate him, and he's got a new grift every week. It's a guy I like to call Donald Trump. Maybe you've heard of him, but he's got another grift this week. Trump guitars. John, I know you're really into music, so this is probably right up your alley. (laughs) You could see in his post here, coming soon, the limited edition 45 guitar, only 1,300 of each acoustic and electric guitars made some personally signed. And you can see on the site, introducing the limited edition American Eagle guitar series. Order now while supplies last. So our incredible producer, Mike, flagged this for me today. And I started digging into what this is because it just it had the feeling of all the, like, the Trump shoes, the Trump NFTs, the Trump Bible. It had the similar theme, similar vibe of all of those other grifts. So I started digging and sure enough, it was the same situation. John, you might be asking yourself, what's are a guitar? These, are these guitars? Yeah, what's a guitar? And then <laughs> after that, because I know you know what that is, that's a huge music head. Oh. You were probably wondering if these were the only guitars endorsed by President Donald J. Trump. And good news, yes, these are. <laughs> The only guitars endorsed by President Donald J. Trump. I was wondering. (laughs) Yes, and it might not be easy to see on screen, but elsewhere in their frequently asked questions section, it says, who is the manufacturer of these guitars? It says, all of the guitars featured on GetTrumpGuitars.com were custom designed and developed by a veteran-owned company with the help of a master luthier. These guitars have been manufactured by multiple providers and include parts and features that are both domestic and international. This is standard with most guitar manufacturers. Mm -hmm. That is a way of saying these are not made in the U.S. I think to me, it's these are some cheap, maybe made in Mexico, maybe made in China guitars that were slapping an American flag and an eagle on and saying... These are Trump guitars. The price, get your credit card ready. They're only $1,500 for the standard base model American Eagle electric guitar. But don't put that credit card away, John. Because if you want the autographed version, and I know you do specifically, (laughs) it's only $11,250. So get (sighs) yours now before they run out. And the design, we have to talk about the design because I think this really represents the best of America and America in 2024. Because if you look closely at the design, you might notice that some of the stars on the on the flag are not stars. No. We've got a triangle. We've got a four-pointed star, as we often see in American flags. I'm pretty sure, John, <laughs> this was just an AI, AI image they're slapping on a guitar. Yeah. Yeah, because you could say like, well, it's the folds in the canvas, but or the in the flag, but that's not how the folds work at all in that. <laughs> and here's the thing: is there a world in which you could go in and fix those stars? Yes, but to do that, you would have to give absolutely any crap at all about it, and they clearly don't, so they didn't do that. And I mean, what you're expecting perfection, you're only paying 11 grand for your guitar. You're going to have to cut some corners along the way. So question, I have no idea. $1,500 for guitar, is that a lot? Normal? What do you think? Because I don't 1500, know. 1500 for a good guitar is, yeah, that's standard. That's okay? Okay. It can go higher than that for a really good guitar. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, what they are selling, what I assume the parts that they use are, it would probably be a hundred to two hundred in cost, maybe maybe less in cost. Okay, but that for something like this, what I assume they're using, how they're where it's being manufactured, retail would probably be a couple hundred dollars, maybe several hundred. So you're already overpaying. For it to have yeah. an American flag on it. And then you can pay $10,000 to have Trump maybe 
Maybe it's Trump autograph bit. Maybe it's Alina Haba or an aide or something. I will I will never understand. I don't begrudge people who like autographs. I, I don't begrudge you at all. But there is literally no one in this world that I would pay $1,000 for the autograph of, let alone $10,000. So that's just not for me. Um, really? That's There's not, no, like not even... If it's like a fantasy author that you love and it's a signed copy of I a have, book that you love, you wouldn't even... I technically, I got my favorite author, Robert Jordan, signed my copy of The Path of Daggers back in a New York uh, City bookstore a thousand years ago. I don't even know where that is actually now. No, no, there's no... I wouldn't Tolkien. No. No, I like John Oliver. I'm not going to pay $1,000 for his autograph. Wait, so if there was... If there was like an Alexa old... Bliss. No. Like an old, like original copy of like Lord of the Rings and Tolkien signed it. You wouldn't even pay a thousand for that. I'm not into Lord of the Rings books that much. I like the movies, but um, no, like the, the, uh, a first edition Eye of the World signed by no, I, I'd I'd pay a hundred dollars for it, maybe like two fifty or something. Look, if I could get okay. like I don't know the cast of Voyager signed a phaser, okay, maybe I'd pay five thousand dollars for that, but. Not no, not not really, not not really for me. Um, the bigger issue before we move on is the dude is about to become the president again. He already has billions of dollars, and he's about to rob America for hundreds of millions of dollars at the very least. What could he possibly be making for this fifty grand? And he's putting his time into it. The pettiness of the grifting—it's it's not even that much money. It's just a strange way to live your life. Money clearly is not going to bring him any additional happiness at this point. Why is he so desperate to have it? Okay. Anyway, and if people are talking about Christmas ideas. Yes, if you can get me a phaser signed by Jerry Ryan. Okay, I'm not going to turn that down, I suppose. But anyway, good garbage person. I love it. 